Hey everybody, it's Mickey from MyFashionLife.com here with my next installment of my at home series and this video is all about the laundry room. So there are two spots in my house where I spend most of my time. One is the kitchen where I am usually surrounded by my family laughing and cooking and having a great time together. The other spot is my laundry room. Totally different story, Morning Glory. I am usually here alone, no laughter, no good times, but can you really blame them? Nobody really loves to do laundry. My little laundry room just recently went through a quick budget-friendly remodel and I thought I would share with you some of the things that we did just to brighten it up and make it a little bit better place to hang out. So my laundry room is right off of my foyer and it is just a tiny, tiny little space. It's only five by six and I'm going to insert some pictures here on what it looked like before we did our little remodel. This little tiny space had a huge job to do for our family. We needed it to, of course, be the spot where we do the family laundry. We also needed it to store our cleaning supplies out of the way, and we needed a place for the kids to hang their backpacks and the coats that they wear every day. You know, some place that would, would not be underfoot and would look neat and tidy. So since we had all of our zones established, the first thing that we did was remove everything from this room. My husband muscled our washer and dryer out into our garage, which is right through this door here, and we painted the whole room. This paint color is one of my new favorites. I've since then painted um, a bathroom the same color. It is called Ivory Brown. It is from Valspar that we got at Lowe's and I think it was such a great background for the colors that I chose to go in here. I'm very neutral, so for our laundry room, my colors I chose were white, chalkboard black, and the color of burlap, which is to me one of the most beautiful colors. I'm a very simple girl. So once the room was painted, we started to address the different zones that this hardworking room had to take care of. And the first one that we looked at was how to store our kids' backpacks and the jackets that they wore every day, you know, back and forth to school. So on this wall, my husband installed this Wayne's coating, which he thought would be a great idea um, to protect the wall from everyday wear and tear. He also found these really great hooks. I think we found them at Lowe's um, that he installed for the hanging of the backpacks and the jackets. Right now, the only thing hanging is one of my teacher bags, but you know, I use it too. It's like a landing station for, you know, us in the morning and at night. And then we found this great little message board, I guess we'll call it. I found this at Joanne fabrics. Um, it was on sale. I had a coupon. Um, so I brought it home and we hung it up for a little message station for the kids. We can put little notes and things up there for them as they start their day. So as you saw in the before pictures, this little room had no storage space at all. So we wanted to utilize as much of the space as we could for storage. So we found these, this cabinet set at Home Depot very inexpensive. I can't remember what the exact cost was, but it was definitely under $100, which I think is a really good um, bargain, considering they are really nice cabinets. They are laminate. So I'll give you a quick peek inside my cabinets and show you how I store all of our cleaning supplies. So the way I have been storing my cleaning supplies in these cabinets is using my favorite storage bin from the Dollar Tree, which are these dish pans that Dollar Tree always has in stock, and they're a dollar a piece. And as you can see, I just use cute little um, chalkboard labels, just like I did in my um, pantry cabinet, if you saw that video. Um, I'll try to remember to link that one below. But these really are my favorite bins. They hold a lot of things, 
and sometimes you know the Dollar Tree bins can be a little flimsy I really think these are very well made and they can hold a lot of things so like up top there I have my different laundry soap that I use when I make homemade laundry detergent um, here um, I just have my extra laundry things you know my unstoppables my bounce fabric softener extra um, starch to iron you know shirts and things and up here are most of my cleaning supplies there you can see I have some pledge and some cleaners and in this bucket right here are all of my different rags that I use to clean some of my favorite ones are of course Dollar Tree items these little um, scrubbies that have or are made of my um, microfiber sponges I love those because you can really get in and clean and you don't have to worry about you know washing them out or how dirty they get you can just toss them when you're done so this is our storage cabinet for all of our cleaning supplies for some additional storage, I found these baskets at Target and they fit really perfectly up on top of my cabinets and inside I just have some extra supplies. It's usually where I keep my um, out of season candles, some tablecloths and just some, you know, extra backup supplies for cleaning and such. So since I'm the one that does spend a lot of time in this room, I wanted to decorate it with things that I really love and I love to look at while keeping in my little burlap chalkboard theme that I had going on. Um, so the first thing that you see when you walk in here is this beautiful burlap wreath that I purchased from one, a local wreath maker um, in our town. I just love this. I think it's so cute. It has a big M on it for our name and I love that it really fills that door which is the door that goes out to our garage. And over here, this little chalkboard I found at um, Pier 1 Imports. And this lamp, I think I got each of the pieces um, at Walmart. And I just added a cute little burlap flower and some chalkboard tags. Uh, this is a picture of my sweet dog, Bailey, who Unfortunately, we don't have any more. She's up in heaven, but this was her room that she used to love to lay in. So I have her picture here so I can remember her. And this cute little um, alphabet block, which I just, one of the reasons why I love chalkboards so much, I guess, is because classrooms were such a big part of my life. And no room would be complete without some pictures of, you know, of my kids. So I have um, pictures of them throughout, you know, throughout the years. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my teeny tiny laundry room. And though I tease about not loving to do laundry, it really is an important job. And it's, you know, it's one of the ways that we show our families that we love them. I hope you'll take a minute and leave me a comment and say hello on down below in the comments. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe because there's more videos on their way. And until I see you again, I hope that you love the life that you have and I will see you in the next video. Bye.